All right, well, today is uh, July the 5th, 2017, and right now at uh, 9.30 p.m., we have a temperature of 77 degrees in the uh, foothills of Los Angeles. The uh, relative humidity is 40%. Got a dew point of uh, 57 degrees, and uh, the uh, barometer is reading 29.94 inches. And today we saw a lot of... Uh, uh, cumulonimbus clouds forming over the uh, San Gabriel Mountains in Southern California and uh, those uh, thunderheads were being blown apart unfortunately I didn't have my camera with me uh, and uh, but I will keep that handy tomorrow we can see the uh, monsoonal uh, thunderstorms especially right here these giant supercells are being uh, blown apart and we'll take a look at that in the uh, visible light map here in a second but we can see the flow moving north into California. If we look at the uh, IntelliCast Doppler map right now, we see that there's very little rain in uh, Southern California or Arizona. Uh, those thunderheads have been uh, blown apart. Just like the uh, graphic I showed from, uh, I believe it was uh, Puerto Rico, or no, it was Costa Rica back in uh, 2015, I think it was July of 2015, where the uh, thunderhead was being targeted and uh, it was being blown apart, and we saw the rainbow colors as the sun shined through that uh, giant cumulonimbus cloud. So those uh, are being superheated over the mountains uh, all day. They were being superheated all day today. And uh, <clears throat> so, and of course, we had a lot of chemtrails uh, sprayed offshore and down south, which drifted into uh, Southern California uh, today. Uh, here's the water vapor map, and we can see the uh, side blowing out of this supercell right here. You can see the shock wave actually at the end of this loop, right, right there. So this is some very good evidence. This is not uh, fake news, or uh, we're not making this up. These uh, these supercells are being uh, destroyed. And uh, that is obvious. If we run the loop here, we can see what's going on in the visible light map. Towards the end of the loop, we see that uh, shock wave right there blowing out towards the west. And of course, in the, uh, <clears throat> in the IR map, we see the color change after the fact, right here, after that is targeted. We see that side blowing out. The superheating process implodes the uh, weather system, and so there's no convection, and that's how they kill these off. And that's what's been going on up here in uh, Southern California. There was a smattering of rain uh, around in the uh, Southern California area, but nothing, nothing substantial. All right, so down here we had a, uh, yesterday we had a, a disturbance with an 80% chance of hurricane formation. And since that time, uh, this has been targeted. And we do see just a slight amount of rotation, counter, uh, counterclockwise rotation there. But this has been targeted all day long and all uh, last evening. You see a blast pattern right there. And if we look at the uh, <clears throat> National Hurricane <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> the National Hurricane Center map, uh, this thing now has diminished to a 30% chance of cyclone formation, of hurricane formation in uh, two days. All right, so because of the uh, continued uh, targeting by microwave, we can see that this is now diminished from 80% down to uh, 20, or rather 30%. All right, so uh, we can see that uh, there's also another uh, disturbance down here. If we go out to the Atlantic, uh, we can see that there is a, uh, a disturbance with a, uh, actually this is now a tropical depression, number four, right here. And that is overexposed. Okay, well, that is a tropical depression, uh, number four with uh, 
30 mile per hour winds, and this is moving west northwest. Keep an eye on that. And as a forecast to run right towards uh, Florida and Georgia. So we'll keep an eye on that. All right, now right here, we have some interesting things going on. We have a, uh, looks like a developing storm just south of the Aleutian Islands. This has a transmitter on it. You can see that right angle firming up right there towards the end of the loop. And we have another sort of a stationary low pressure. This has been here for a couple of days. And this uh, area right here is a blockade. This has been engineered to uh, wall up this uh, jet stream flow. This is the jet stream portion of it. And this second weather system is not going to be allowed to merge with this system. So we have a blockade being set up right here. <clears throat> and if we look at the uh, the infrared map, which is partially corrupted, I'm going to have to uh, take care of that right now. Okay, there it is. About uh, eight frames of this video are corrupted, so I had to uh, turn those off. Anyhow, we see the uh, the blockade, uh, which has been engineered to separate this next developing uh, weather system from what's going on right here. We've got two low-pressure systems, and they're not going to allow these to uh, uh, get together. And we have high pressure right here. We can see all the clockwise rotation. And that will suck some of this uh, tropical flow up towards California because we've got we've got to maintain this high pressure in order to prevent this low pressure from moving in and delivering rain. And so that is clear to see. We've got high pressure that's installed to block this, but at the same time, it's winding a lot of monsoonal moisture right into California. And so tomorrow we have a forecast for. 105 degree temperatures up in the uh, San Fernando Valley uh, as this high pressure intensifies to block not only this uh, low pressure from moving in and delivering cooler, uh, damper weather, but also this uh, system. This is going to be interesting to see where this goes. If this comes down around to the south or if it moves up and over. So they're going to have to. Uh, Looks like they're filling this out with high pressure right now. You can see the uh, dark area filling out. And so that will ensure that this uh, system probably will not wrap around to the south. It will uh, be forced up into uh, Alaska. We'll have to see what happens, but it looks like they're, uh, they've got some power right here, focused right in that area. This is a, a low pressure system right here. We'll have to keep an eye on and see what they do with that. <clears throat> okay, so here's the jet stream map, and uh, they're showing some jet stream flow around that low pressure system we were just looking at. Let's take a look at the, uh, the MODIS Today map. This is the color satellite a map for uh, the southwest, and we can see a lot of uh, chemtrail spraying. Uh, right here on the right side, all in this area. There's a lot of tropical moisture moving up. And here's LA right here. And this was taken uh, probably around noontime. This all moved up. We saw a lot of chemtrails uh, sprayed over the top of this entire uh, moisture field right here. Of course, that, that stopped a lot of the rain uh, potential in Southern California. All right. All right. So uh, anyway, that's about the end of the the, uh, the report. Uh, there is a youngster running a channel called Weather Wars 101 on YouTube, and uh, he's uh, declared that this channel is uh, producing fake news. Imagine that, fake news. So uh, I just want people to understand that uh, I believe that the evidence on this channel is solid and it 
is uh, much of it is irrefutable. And uh, the the thing about Weather Wars 101, his material is uh, mainly about emissions from smokestacks and factories and how that may be causing some of the uh, climate change and weather that we're seeing around the country. Uh, I've seen maybe 15 videos of his, and uh, I think he's a much better clown than he is an analyst or a weather forecaster. And, uh, you know, I don't know why he would attack the evidence on this video, on this channel. <clears throat> that tells me a lot without bothering to uh, ask any questions or have any kind of debate. It's just uh, wholesale, uh, throw it out the window and, and uh, make a clown clownish video uh, about what we're doing here. But uh, regardless of all that, uh, I stand by what we're what we're doing here. I think I think the evidence on this channel is far more substantial than uh, anything that uh, Weather Wars 101 has put up. Uh, you know, aside from his uh, creepy soundtrack, uh, there's just not a lot of substance. Uh, he's got the uh, Doppler maps, uh, which don't really prove much. In, in those videos, they show the locations of the Doppler maps, but they're, he's not, since he's using captions, this may be a, a woman doing this, he, she, I don't know who it is, uh, <clears throat> but uh, the, uh, the Doppler maps are, are not really of any value because they don't explain to the viewer what's going on. And on, on this channel, we've learned quite a bit about the chemtrail spraying operations, why they're being sprayed, when they're being sprayed, and we can actually forecast a couple of days ahead of time when they're going to spray the chemtrail. So, uh, you know, 101 doesn't talk about that. I don't think he, he or she understands uh, what's going on. And that's why I say he's a far better clown than he is a uh, analyst or uh, a weather forecaster. So, uh, and also I think he's a shill because he's uh, just uh, made a joke of, tried to make a joke of what we're presenting here, which is really solid. The end of the day, uh, I think the viewers, uh, Weather War 101's subscribers, <clears throat> pardon me, are getting a lettuce burger. And so uh, that's it. I just wanted to make that clear uh, because uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of effort that goes into uh, making these little videos, uh, writing the captions, and trying to get people to understand uh, and sift through the disinformation that's going on. This is an information war, and there's a lot of shills on the internet, and it's very easy to buy YouTube subscribers, and uh, Instagram subscribers, and, and Facebook subscribers. So I'd like to know how many of those 13,000 uh, subscribers on 101's channel were actually paid for. I think probably a, a pretty good fraction of them are uh, paid for. So that's all I have to say. Uh, we're just going to continue to uh, blaze a trail and. Uh, Try to uh, bring the evidence to the viewers on this channel the best that uh, can be done. And, of course, the, the, the media, the mainstream media on television, they're of, they're of no value. They've been gagged. They're being paid a lot of money. And uh, so, uh, we, you know, that's not, these dots are not hard to connect. All right, so that's it. We'll uh, do another update later.